Hey guys, I want to talk to you today about streaming to the web browser. This has been a problem plaguing me for a long time now. And previously I was using some crappy software called Rtail. I was looking at Socket.io. I was looking at all sorts of different things. And finally, I stumbled upon Event Source. But there was this very misleading web page that was saying, well, you can use event source and it's so simple to use, but you really should be using WebSocket D. Blech. That was the wrong advice. So after going in a bit of a circle, I arrived back to event, uh, service sent events and um, this is the solution I got right now. Um, I forked uh, a program called GoTail over in GitHub and it basically gave me what I needed and let me just show you working uh, so if I'm just curling something events happen at the um, get appended the use case I'm just trying to accomplish is, is basically tailing a log to my web browser and if you can see the source what happens is that I read the file first um, and then append to it using event source. And I and I've just stumbled upon this scroll into view thing. So I keep I keep the bottom of the uh, of the last line in in uh, in view. Um, let me just show you. It work it works it works great on my on Safari too. Apologies for the noise. You can see there. Uh, let me load up uh, a page that's um, from my local web server then append to my you can see things are pending there um, and yeah it's all quite sorry it's all quite simple this is what it looks like and you just run it you just run it like that go tell name a file boom and you're set so um, I hope you like it and you find it useful and you give me a thumbs up.